In terms of my overall career, I think uh, the opportunity to work on what I consider to really pace setting uh, projects such as um, the Denver Botanic Gardens was um, a, a, an opportunity that, that uh, wouldn't come to many architects in, in their lifetime. Chris Dobbins was the president of Ideal Cement Company and um, they had their headquarters in Denver. Since the Betcher Foundation was one of the main funders, they were involved and he was involved right from the beginning uh, influencing the design. So it was essentially a given that we um, utilize concrete in every way we could. The building didn't look like it does today on those uh, uh, initial drawings. Actually, the conservatory was just a barrel. It was with vertical ends. From that point to the final working drawings, they changed it and put the hip construction on either of the two ends. The idea that we came up with of the hips we resolved that and, and kept the size of the beams uh, to a reasonable dimension. But it was our responsibility to try to figure out if we could do it in, as a cast in place uh, concrete structure. Because nothing was horizontal and flat and nothing was vertical. You had to do what you, we had to do this thing on a curved surface. And so uh, that was my the first uh, thing that I did was to build a sample panel out in our backyard. It took me the longest time to come up with this, but uh, how do you, we had to provide a means for our our workmen to actually get up onto this surface and do the forming and the installation of all the reinforcing steel and all the embedments and the eventual pouring of the concrete. We had to be able to get up on there and do this work. It's just very gratifying to know that it's a, 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 a part of Denver that's a, a valued by Den by visitors and by the people of Denver and it's, ser serves a, a, very, a special purpose. For me, it was a one in a lifetime experience. It was the, uh, one of the most challenging jobs that I was ever involved with, personally. The end result was probably the most beautiful. I have the feeling that it's a building that doesn't grow old. It has a life without an end.